The goal was to connect and co-locate the animal sciences department as well as the animal veterinary uh, biomedical science group. There was no clear way for them to actually work together in a transdisciplinary way. We had to understand how to plan their basic mission, which is science. How do we create the best opportunity for the science and the discovery with science to work not just within each department, but across the two departments. We decided to use the environment that they are most perhaps comfortable in, which is in a laboratory environment, and put those labs to the outside of the building. We wanted to get natural light into those spaces. So we put them to the outside and the direct connection between their studies, their innovation, their science, and the outdoor environment became kind of the critical relationship. Those are elements that loosely allowed us to kind of put these blocks in place. But once we kind of got those, the basic rules down and the basic adjacencies down, everything kind of fell into place on this project really nicely. There's a connector between the new building and the big animal sciences building that sits just to the back of our building. That connector became more important than it had been originally. We made it larger, we made it more transparent, there's more natural light in there, we have collaboration spaces, we have booths, we have conference rooms. That became an active zone. That's where we're trying to get that overlap to happen. The key is different departments different focuses of what they do. We want them to be as near each other as possible so that they're able to cross-pollinate, they're able to overlap. Out of that very successfully comes innovation, right? And discovery. And I think that's why ultimately it's been viewed as being quite successful, not just for the science, but also for the departments, you know, for recruitment and ultimately as a piece of the Penn State fabric.